What's up, people? It's your man, Urban Lover, coming from your mama's basement, baby. Just want to give you an update on our man, Swaggy P, Uncle P, no other but that brother, Nick Young. Kind of find out he just had a uh, calf in injury. Should be out two to four weeks. So now we have Nick Young out, and we also have DeAndre Russell out. So, and I know this is going to kill me, but I know Luke Walton. And I believe he's going to go with uh, Timothy... Timothy, Moss Government, the Bully Beast Randall, uh, MIA Lou Dang, JC, and, and Cotteroni. Now, I know he don't want to mess with that second unit. He's going to try his best to keep that second unit intact. He's not going to try to pull too many people from it because the second unit had been looking good than the first unit. I said in one of my, old, my previous videos that he should just go ahead and start the second unit. But also keep in mind that second unit will be going up against the, uh, the opposers team number one unit. You know, first unit. So it might not be as good as it seemed. Because the, the beautiful thing about that second unit and the reason why they're getting so much praise is number one. JC and, and Lou Williams. You know, that, that backcourt duo is pretty decent. But they're actually coming in at a time when that first unit is either tired, worn out. Then they're rotating their players in. Most benches only go probably no more than three or four deep, if that. So, the one thing about us is that we're going five deep. So, we just bring in like a whole new starting five. And we're rolling. But right now, at this point in time, there's no guarantee we're going to win a lot of these games. Because we got two of our best shooters out. And now that they both are out, we got to figure out where we'll get scoring from. MIA, Dane, hasn't done nothing for us. Me, personally... I will sit this dude on the bench. I don't care if he's making 15, 15 million a day. I'll sit him on the bench. He's not giving us anything. And I'll have him come in with that second unit. Because it might it might be much better for him at this at this point of time. So he can get his game back, his rhythm back. Try to find some type of just try to find some type of flow. To get back into the game. But I t I talked to you guys in my last video about, you know, what you know, how would you think the the starting five should be or the rotation should be or something like that so i was listening to some of the comments and this is what i came up with and i, I know luke Walton ain't gonna go with this but this is what i would do if i was luke walk my starting five would be timothy Moss government julius bully beast randall larry mr utility nance jr jc and dr will that would be my starting five and I'll have this will be my my backup squad. However you want to do it, you can rotate them in or just bring in the whole unit. However you choose to do it, but I will go with uh, Tar Black, T Rob, Mia Dane, Cataroni, and Brandon Ing Brandon Moneygram Ingram. Now with Brandon Brandon Moneygram Ingram, what I would do is I would put him at the two and let Cataron play the point. Mia Dane will definitely play the small forward, and then Black and Rob, you know, play the power forward and center position with much respect now with this squad ingram will be the focus focal point on the scoring squad this will actually help brandon ingram be able to get more into a rhythm and scoring you know because you gotta also keep in mind when he's coming in the game he's coming with jc and lou williams both of these guys are going to haul up probably anywhere between 10 to 15 10 to 15 shots a game so they're taking up a good portion of the shot selection but with this squad, Brandon Ingram has the opportunity to actually flourish. Like I said before, there's no guarantee we're going to win the games. But Brandon Ingram be the focal point. You already know that uh, Black and Rob are basically low post players. Rob showed me, a, I think, the well, last game he hit a jumper. So I guess Rob can come out a little bit and, and, and shoot a good 10, 10 to 15 foot jumper, which is good. Calderon could be the post up. I mean, not the post, I'm sorry. Calderon could basically be... You know, getting the shots off pick and rolls and screams and set up. So Brandon can bring the ball down. He can set up Calderon for the open shots, or he can just go to the you know go to the basket, or he can like make a play for Black or Raw. And uh, Mia Dane can just play off the wing. But this, like I said, because these guys only take nowhere. These all these guys are taking less than nine shots a game. This will allow Brandon Ingram to flourish, and hopefully we'll be able to win some games uh, going into December. And coming into January, I'm thinking like if we go 15 and 20, that won't be so bad. You know, going almost going out of December, going into January, that wouldn't be so bad because we only like five games uh, below 500. 
and then hopefully we get most likely we'll probably get D'Angelo back in within a week or two, maybe three, and then probably in January, most times we'll probably get Nick Young back. And this would that that's that's my starting five, and that's basically how I would do it. Now, like I said, I know Luke Walton probably would just put the squad in that I probably spoke earlier about. You know what, Miles, Randall, uh, Dane, Clarkson, and, and Carteron. But I would actually go with the squad that I spoke of, and I would do it that rotation. And, and that's basically what I would do, you know, because that first unit ain't giving us nothing. Now that Nick Young is gone, we don't have really nobody that can really, you know, take a man off the dribble and make a, create a play for himself or take a shot. And, you know, if y'all look at the games, a while back, a lot of people were saying that Nick Young, you know, he's one-dimensional. All he does is shoot jumpers. He can't go to the basket. That's why I say this season was his best season, man, because he was actually putting the ball on the floor. He was going to the basket. The dude was shooting a high percentage shot from, you know, from the two percentage and also from the three percentage. He was shooting 41% from the, from the three-point arc. And like I said, he was like one of the top five in there, man. And they're going to really miss Nick Young more than DeAndre Russell. You know, DeAndre Russell will be good. Now, now here's the thing. Based on the fact that Nick Young is going to probably be out for almost the whole month of December. This will be beautiful because I know he don't want to mess this unit up. And so I'm not going to keep alliterating about starting JC at point and D'Angelo at the two. But that's what Mr. Urban would love to have when D'Angelo come back, to be honest with you. JC and at the point and D'Angelo at the two will be beautiful because it complements each other's game. But I know he ain't going to do that. So what I would do is I would have Carter Roney at the point and D-Loading at the two. That's what I would do. I will let Carter Roney. Calderoni bring the ball down and I let D load um, be at the two. We're good to go. Uh, MIA, I, I still would bench him though. I, I would bench MIA. And like I said, I would start Larry Nance at that small forward position. But when D, when D load would come back, most likely I would put Brandon Ingram at that small forward position. I would, like I said, he's a rookie. Right now, we, we, we still. Uh, Basically, uh, we still in a hunt. It's not like we out of the playoff race and I'm like that. And it's still early in the season, so anything can happen. But I would definitely go ahead and start Brandon Ingram, Money Graham Ingram, when D Load and come back, and I would let MIA Dane get on the bench, and he could be missing on the bench. If you can't find him, that's all good. It's not hurting us. That's cool. And this one more thing I want to say, and this is the main reason why I kept saying over and over again that we should assign Anthony Brown in favor of Metal World Peace, because now. We could definitely use his defense, which the Lakers are lacking on the perimeter and the interior. Our extra defender would actually been good for the Lakers because MIA, Dane, like I said before, is getting killed by a lot of small forwards. AB does not have to score. He's a he's basically like a utility man, just like uh, Larry Nance. He might not be able to score. He might be struggling with his shots. But the good thing about him is that he can play defense. And uh, another beautiful thing is that he would be able to come in with that second unit and and Brandon Ingram could have basically been starting with the first unit. And I would, like I said, Metal World Peace and Hertz's. I love Hertz's. I love his game. But at this point in time, we need a bigger guard. You know, I mean, we need somebody with some height. Because the matchups is okay, but they're not always going to be there. And once Clarkson and Wim and D'Lo, you know, the rotation with them, we only got Calderoni. We don't have no other big wing, you know, big... Uh, shooter or wingman well not really wingman but big shooter to come off there so I you know what I would play with it I would actually this is what I would do I would play with it see if it's d and come back and just say for instance I cuz I know he gonna start Cal Calderoni but I would do this man I would put Brandon Ingram at the small forward I would have or, or, or Larry Nance at the small forward and I'll let Brandon play the two since he basically been bringing the ball down I basically saw Larry Nance at the small forward um, Jordan Clarkson at the at the point, D loading at the three. Randall and Miles, and off that bench, I have T Rob at the power forward, Black at the center. Uh, Mia Dane at the small forward spot. Calderoni and Money Graham Ingram. That's what I would do at the two. So there's a lot you could do, which you could play with it, but. Tonight they played the Chicago Bulls. We go on to their town. You know, they spanked us the first time without Dwayne Wade. I don't know if Dwayne Wade might be playing tonight, but he most likely probably will. They gave him the rest the last game because they looked at us like we were nothing. We still had a chance to beat that game. But, you know, it is what it is. 
Now, tonight, I'd like to see what we're going to do. There's no guarantee we might win this game. But as long as we stay in the game, I'm cool with it. If we don't get blown up by 40 points and all that crazy stuff, I, I, I'm just going to be flabbered, bro. Flabberist. I'll be so freaking frustrated. You know, I might make a rant, you know, a drunk rant. I might, matter of fact, I might drink tonight and just make a drunk rant if we lose and just make you guys laugh, you know, just to try to entertain you guys for us to overcome all these injuries at this early part of the season, which is good, though. Because if we get injuries early part of the season, and long day not, long as they're not nagging injuries, then hopefully after the All Star break, everybody's healthy, we can roll, try to push to make that playoff spot. Because I still think the Lakers can get the AFC, and I think the refs are going to make sure that we do get the AFC. Because think about it, how much revenue do you think the NBA will make if Luke Walton goes up against Steve Kerr, two former coaches, the the Justice League against team justice think about it man i'm serious that'd be a good matchup it would bring a lot of revenue and the lakers he's already being sold out so you know what it is baby you know how we laker family do we support our team even if they only got one leg and they're jumping off the rim and they're falling down and hurting themselves and they get back up and make shots that nobody can make and we flipping and then kobe come on the scene like y'all guys need to be slapped but anyway it's your man urban lover the game come on tonight so we definitely gonna be watching the game follow me on twitter Get you know, get on the Twitter, man, and talk to me. You know, I like to you know, I like to chop it up with you guys. So if you're on Twitter, definitely hit me up. Let's talk about it. Get the conversation. Tell me what you think about the rotation. Who would you start? How would you do the uh, second unit? Let's play around with it a little bit, guys. Let's have some fun with it. With that being said, as always, have a blessed day. Take care and definitely be safe out there. Hope to see y'all guys on Twitter.